New Jersey man decides, you know, it's a good idea to do this. Here it is. For a moment, for a brief moment, I said they're taking him to the back outside of the camera. But no, they were just taking him to the hallway to effect an arrest. Put up the picture for a mask. After he crashed into the precinct, he immediately gets out of the car. I want you to pay attention to his finger. He has his fingers in the air as to say number one. Now, there's an interesting background to this. New Jersey authorities say a man actually drove into a house, then a police station. He emerged pumping his hands in the air while playing welcome to the jungle. All right, that's how we came in. The New Jersey man, his name is John Hargreaves. John is currently in custody. Facing mm, 10 charges while blasting guns and roses. Welcome to the jungle, the 34 year old man exited his vehicle. His vehicle into the police squad room with his hands in the air uh, as if to say I am victorious. The man narrowly missed hitting an officer who had just stepped out of the room. He could have hit an officer. And killed an officer. The officers did not seem upset about this. They did not, as they would say, tune him up. Uh, we have the video evidence. They did not cut the cameras off. It's inside of their precinct. I'm sure they had the authority, the ability to do so. Uh, so before John drove into the Independence Township Police Headquarters, he first crashed into the garage door of a private residence in an attempt to scare or harass the homeowner. Whom John knew, according to the prosecutor's press release. He was charged with burglary, criminal mischief, possession of a weapon for an unlawful purpose, and harassment, according to the press release. Then John drove to the nearest police station and intentionally drove his vehicle through the building, causing significant damage per the press release. The entire vehicle came to a final resting point in the squad room. For crashing into the headquarters, John is charged with terrorism, causing widespread damage, aggravated assault, burglary, possession of a weapon for unlawful purpose, and criminal mischief per the press release. John was previously sentenced to two years of probation in 2021 after he pleaded guilty to stalking and criminal trespassing according to court records. Um, why did he do it? Put him up. So old John here, according to investigators, John told them that a year ago, he made a complaint to the state police that a woman in fact hypnotized him. He wasn't happy about the way it was handled. The woman is reportedly the owner of the home he crashed into. And the police station is the closest station to her house. All right. I mean, he may still be hypnotized. I don't know. I don't know. But he tried to hit the person that hypnotized him, and all of a sudden, I'm saying stranger things in this world have happened, okay? I think somebody needs to look into that part of the story. All right, Jackson, um, I'm yeah, glad I, nobody is hurt. I'm glad everybody's yeah. alive. <laughs> but damn, that's a hell of a twist to a story, sir. For real. And I, I mean, I think the cops weren't freaking out because it's like, how do you really react to something like <laughs> right. that? You know, like it happens and it's just like, I thought I would lose my mind. But no, you know, I, I, I handled it well. But it, it, it's, you know, this guy kind of low key was like 
trying to do the right thing, it seems. Like he drove through someone's house and he's like, I'm probably going to get in trouble for this. So let me just go to the police station now and, and, ju- and just get this over with. You know what I'm saying? You want you don't have to come looking for me. I'm just going to come straight to you. You feel me? Right. So he was uh, probably thinking, you know, <laughs> look at look at all the money I saved in man hours right. trying to apprehend me later. Right. That That's going to minimize the sentence that he gets. You know what that's I'm right. saying? It's going to even out and go back to zero. So you're going to walk. I think free. so. I think that's <laughs> going to be the defense here. Yep. 